this is your Wildcat welcome for Monday, March 1st, Miss Rush Hour. Oh, it's already March. <laughs> Signs of spring will be popping soon. I know the weather is cooperating. It is starting to cooperate. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. It is. Well, we've got some birthdays. Ooh, ooh. Who do we have today? We've got in kindergarten a happy birthday going to Rigdom at G in kindergarten, Asher L in third grade, and Emma P in fourth grade. All the birthdays on this March 1st. So many birthdays on March 1st. Love it. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday, mm -hmm. everybody. Happy birthday. And on a mindful Monday. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Mindful Mondays. Just such a great way to start our week. Mm -hmm. And we want our special assignment again. I know. I can't wait to check it out. Let's check it out. Hi, friends. I'm here in Mr. Ruffles' class. And Mr. Ruffles and our kindergarten friends are going to teach us about some mindfulness today. So Mr. Ruffles, what are you going to teach all of us? Well, let's listen. Are you guys ready? Here we yes. go. Step one. We're going to sit mindfully with our spine straight and our body relaxed. Close your eyes and take three soft, slow, mindful breaths. All right, step two, think of someone or something that makes you happy. Maybe it's a person you love or a special pet. Step three, imagine your feelings for that person or pet as golden rays of light in your heart. Breathe in and out, and imagine sending the golden light to a friend who needs kindness. Can you see your friend smiling when you do that? With your next out breath, send your golden light to someone you don't even know very well. Can you see that person receiving your light? Now, breathe in and out, and share your golden rays with someone you feel grumpy towards. Watch your kindness help that person. Finally, share your golden light with everyone in the world. Let it out. Imagine everyone laughing together. Because they probably heard a really good joke from Mr. Rebels. And they have your golden light. Alright, smile with that happy feeling. Take Three more slow, soft, mindful breaths. And then you can open your eyes back up. Wow. I feel wonderful. I feel good. Better than I have in years. I agree. And just think of the golden light we've given to all the people in the world. Do you guys feel it? I think these kindergartners look like they've received golden light and sent golden light. Thumbs up if you're feeling good now. And look, they're ready to learn now. So ready. Oh, thanks, Mr. Revels. How wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> it was so amazing to watch that Mr. Revels kindergarten class yeah. do that it, it just it brings me chills i mm -hmm. love that we're all participating in mindful monday i know i know especially those sweet little kindergarten I friends know. right i like, know oh, they did so remarkable mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. love it i love it i love it what thank way. you to that class yes thank you well today is a wonderful day <laughs> hmm is it mm, all the yumminess oh what's today so you know we've had lots of like pistachio day mm -hmm. almond day mm -hmm. all that fun stuff mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. okay so today is national peanut butter lovers day oh <laughs> it do makes you, me rock do you just love peanut butter okay yes okay so i put peanut butter on the banana Mm -hmm. I love to just take a spoon and eat all the peanut butter. <laughs> I am not a peanut butter lover. What? Yeah. I like <laughs> I like powdered peanut butter 
Because it's like crunchy. No. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you're gonna you're gonna eat all of the peanut butter for everybody. The smooth, oh. yummy taste of peanut butter. Mm. All the peanut butter, peanut butter sandwiches. I think I get extra spoonfuls of peanut butter today. I mean, I do like a good. I put p pickles with my peanut butter sandwiches because I don't like peanut butter and jelly. So I guess I do eat peanut butter. Yeah. Only that's the only way though. So see, that's how you can eat the peanut butter. I will definitely and, have okay, sandwich. It's true. Peanut butter powder does count. Yeah, it's because you mix water in it and it makes peanut butter. But yeah. I just like to, I could spoon that powder into my mouth and just eat it. <laughs> well, it's not, it's not just a peanut butter. It's peanut butter lovers day. So we, oh. could, eat, we could make it like flavors of peanut oh. butter. Oh, the goodness. Now we're getting into some yumminess uh -huh. territory. Oh, I can't wait. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All the spoonfuls. Well, yes. Normally... This would be the time in our announcements where we would showcase somebody who has been um, made history. Yeah. And since February is over, because February is Black History Month, yeah. then, you know, we could probably stop talking about it, huh? Oh. Well, that's disappointing. It really is. So, you know what? What? We're going to keep talking about it. Yes, because I have to tell you, mm -hmm. honestly, I have enjoyed learning from you. I have learned myself. <laughs> I'm learning so many things too. And I really like that we're honoring Black History, not just for the month. No, we're going to continue this. I think I've got enough facts to last us all year. That is incredible. I know. Oh, I, I know. can't wait. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. So what are you going to teach me today? So today I thought we would wrap up the month of February with the person who created or where Black History Month comes from. Really? Yeah. So we're talking about Carter G. Woodson. Oh. And he was known as the father of black history. He was born in 1875 and was an American historian, author, journalist, and the founder of the Association for the Student of African American Life and History. Woodson believed that education and increasing social and professional con contacts among black and white people could reduce racism. He found the first Negro History Week in Washington, D.C. in 1926, which later turned into Black History Month. Wow. Mm -hmm. it's, so this is the founder of our Black History Month, and this is the reason why we celebrate it in February. But wow. I think we should be celebrating this all year round. I would agree. Like, mm -hmm. just embed it in our learning mm -hmm. every day. Every single day. Yeah. African Americans were overlooked, ignored, and even suppressed by the writers of history textbooks and the teachers who use them. Which well, that's is, a true fact. It's a true fact, and it's pretty powerful that we're exploring that with our own textbooks in this school right now. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. We're mm -hmm. doing a lot of work around that. We are. So, this mm -hmm. is impressive, mm -hmm. and I feel like um, signifies the importance of this work. Absolutely. Yes. Well, thank you for teaching again today. Uh -huh. And thank you for like spreading this out longer than just February. Mm -hmm. I love this. I love it. I love it. Mm -hmm. Well, friends, I'm Mrs. Bean. And I'm Miss Rush Hour. Make it a mindful Monday, friends. And we'll see you at our next Wildcat Welcome.